All right, Lynn, we're going to make some egg rolls today. St. Patty's Day is right around the corner, so I think we should make some really good egg rolls. I'm going to need you to shred this cheese. This is Swiss cheese. This is right here from our farm. So what happens is the bacteria that's in the milk as the cheese begins to set releases a lot of air, and the air creates these little gases and you get these little bubbles in the cheese, so that's why it looks really holy. Yeah. So all you want to do is you want to hold the shredder really firm and just want to shred down a little bit. We'll get some good cheese there, okay? Hard to get some nice shred. What do you think that is? Yeah. Yeah? What kind of beef? Corn. Corn beef. Right. All right. So this is a really sharp knife. We're going to cut this up into tiny pieces, okay? I'll start a little bit and I'll cut it in strips and you can chop the strips up, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever you use a knife, you want to be very careful because I keep my knives very sharp. And we cook them. Yep. Well, remember how to hold your knife? You're going to hold it a little more firmly, just like that. Keep your fingers rolled down there like a bear claw. That way, you keep the tips of your fingers intact. And then move your fingers back as you cut down. There you go. Nice and slow. Always watch what you're doing. Now these, let's take it like this, and we'll just chop them up just a little bit more. So keep your left hand on top of the knife, and this one just work it down. We'll cut that up real small. There you go. And while you do that, I'll cut these. So I've got some sauerkraut here, and then I've got some sauerkraut that we already started. So why don't you get a little bit of this, and we're going to want to squeeze some of the juices out, just like this. Go ahead, squeeze it out when it's nice and dry. We'll put it into there, okay? It's cold, watch out. There you go. There I'm off. I got bigger hands than you. Alright, Lenny. So we got our corned beef, we got our sauerkraut, we got this cheese that you worked so hard to shred. Then we got the plate. So, why don't you go ahead and we'll take a little bit, put some corned beef in your bowl. Put another one. Let's put two big hands in there. Actually, we're, we're going to have to fill these egg rolls a little more. A little more. Big handful in there. And sometimes when we mix it up, we'll see that we need a little more cheese. Or more beef. There you go. Now, however much sauerkraut you want in there. Put your sauerkraut in there. That's probably good. Let's mix that up really well then, okay? How's it smell? Sour. Sour? <laughs> yeah, that's a sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's real punchy. Alright, I think we got a good mix. I might have put some more corned beef. I might have got a little cheese heavy in there. Alright, how do you think yours looks? Good? Good. Alright, you ready for the hardest part? What? Rolling them up. I'll make the first one, and you do the second one, okay? Okay! I'm going to take a little bit. <laughs> I don't it. like it right in the middle of our roll. And these rolls are going to be kind of long, like a, almost like a burrito or an egg roll. Right, so once you get it in there in the middle, shape it to go corner to corner. So it's like you got a little log in the middle. There you go. Touch it up. There we go. All right, so I'm going to do, we're going to bring the sides in. Okay. Yep, bring the sides in. <laughs> bring your sides in and then right down here. Kind of tuck it in. Yeah, right here. Tuck that in. Okay, now roll that in just a little more. Where you tucked, you want to roll in just a little more. Alright, now this is hard. You're going to kind of want to roll it up and over, and then when you get over, you want to grab the bottom with your thumbs and kind of tuck all that filling back in. Alright, kind of like we're packing it in there. Not bad for your first egg roll. Just kind of rolling it. And then when you have a little triangle left, we're going to dip our finger in some water. Put a little water there. That is not a bad egg roll at all, kid. Wow. Then roll it nice and tight. Wow. Not bad. What do you think? That is, I'm not going to lie, that's an impressive egg roll. Awesome. What do you think? You want to fry them? 
Well, I think uh, food with the kids is, is really important. Everybody needs to eat and stay alive, you know, and it's more than just a love to, to do that. When you cook for somebody or you show them how to cook, you're caring for them, you're showing them how to take care of their body and how to continue. Everybody's got to eat. Everybody has to eat at you know, the end of the day. And, and if you have fun while you're doing it and you care about it, you care about the people that you're cooking for, it, it shows in the food. It helps to create memories. And in that caring and, and that nurturing, there's also certain things that you can do, you know, to help you get a more consistent product, you know, a certain way to cook or a certain style that you hold your knife or, or anything else like that that's going to help you just have to do something more efficiently. So maybe, you know, you, you can do, you know, a, a more complicated dinner because you have certain techniques that you've learned that may not take you as much time as it would, you know, someone that doesn't know this kind of stuff and might be intimidated by that.